look, why the chosen ones are the last to be in the know? Why are we the last ones to get an invitation, if ever? First off, it's if ever, because sometimes we don't even get invited. And we be like, oh shoot, that happened, oh shoot. And it, sometimes it be like from people who are supposedly supposed to be your intermediate family, supposedly supposed to be your best friend, and you like, or supposedly supposed to be close to you in society, guys, I'll say. Um, why are the chosen ones the last enough? If ever. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> From my perspective, y'all know I always got to have a perspective, okay? Um, a friend of mine told me, you always making up a story. Like, if I don't know the truth, I'm going to make up a story. I'm going to believe that wholeheartedly. Why are the chosen ones always the last to be in the know. Plain and simple. My biggest reason, the first thing that I can think of is these people don't like you. <laughs> they do not like you. So because of who you are, because of your title, because of your role, because of who you are supposed to be to that person, sometimes people feel entitled to invite you. This is why you're the last to know because for one, they wasn't even about to they wasn't even about to invite you. Like let me see if I can. Yeah, they wasn't even about to invite you for real, for real. They had no intentions. They don't like you like that. They'd rather you not be around. Sometimes when you're around, it's a little cringy. Sometimes they really don't like it. They don't like talking to you. They don't like seeing you. They don't like that every time they see you, you know, things are getting better. They don't want to talk about how things are better in your life or things are good in your life. So they don't want you around. Your vibes don't match their vibes. This is why people, you know, you're the last to get invited because y'all just don't vibrate on the same level and they know that so it's kind of scary when you're around because it's like a part of them want to act a certain way but then a part of them want to be themselves but you know we all put on a mask in some way shape or form at some point in our life and they they put on a mask when they're around you to look better than to to be on a certain level um that they maybe aren't when you're not around this is why you're the last to get invited or the last to know because they was never they never really had intentions on inviting you but they knew that it would look shady if they didn't invite you <laughs> let's just be honest they knew that it would look a little shady if they didn't invite you so therefore they go ahead and they invite you and it may be at the very last minute and it may be because they know that you know it may be because they know that you know or maybe because you just so happened to talk to them and like you wasn't even going to talk to them but you just so happened to talk to them and they like oh let me um let me invite them because it's the right thing to do because people are going to ask where are they because of your title to them people are going to be asking about you so they rather not have to make up a story they rather be able to say that they did invite you and that you don't come a lot of them they don't want you to come for real for real so when they invite you, they got hopes deep down in the back of their mind that you just don't come. Like they wish that you didn't show up for real, for real. Because you showing up, you standing out in front of everybody, you standing out. Sometimes you like outshine them. And this is not every single case, but sometimes people don't invite you because y'all just not cool like that. Let's just be honest. It really doesn't matter like what their title is, who they are, who uh, people perceive y'all to be to one another the way society may see it in their eyes y'all just ain't cool like that <laughs> like i've had like in society's eyes i had some of the people who closest to me that didn't share some of the most sacred things with me until it was kind of like a force and i'm just like dang i thought that we were better than that but if you really like if you really think about it deep down inside like no nah, Y'all really ain't cool like that. <laughs> and sometimes you just gotta miss yourself like, well, maybe we ain't cool like that. So when they don't get invited, it's the same reason why you don't invite people to your stuff or you don't tell people about certain stuff because if y'all was talking like that, if y'all was cool like that, then they would know. It wouldn't have to be a question. And that's the thing when people ask me like, why you didn't tell me a certain thing? It's like, well, if we were cool like that, then you would have to know it wouldn't be a question. You would be the first to know. It's certain things like I tell my immediate family first. Whether we cool like that or not. But um, you just 
just don't get that with, with everybody. And a lot of people really don't even know when you're around. This is why you are the last to know. This is why you um, maybe never get invited because they like they don't really rock with you like that. They don't want you around. They don't want your good energy. They don't want you outshining them. They don't want you in there looking good. They don't want you to get no attention. They don't want none of that. Like they'd rather have you away and pretend that they don't know what's going on. it does get a little weird when people who you think are supposed to be tight with or that you once was tight with you start to switch up and start to act like it. it does get a little weird and it actually hurts more than anything like that people can get shoes each other's size people can gang up on you like that people can go their own way and they can really this includes you and the funny thing is like I think I just made that word up. The funny thing is, these are the same people who, if you didn't do something, if you didn't invite them nowhere, if you, whatever, whatever, it's like, they'll have a fit. They'll have a fit. And for whatever reason, they wouldn't like you, but it's like, you continuously give grace to these people. <laughs> like, you give grace to these people. Because, for one, you understand, like, people go through stuff. But for two, you understand that people don't know how to speak their truth. People don't know how to be real nowadays so a lot of times these people don't invite you because they have a problem with you and you guys haven't solved that problem but they have a problem lightweight with themselves because they never tell you that they have a problem with you they just switch up and start acting funny so they're not inviting you because they really don't like you they really have a problem deep down inside that they never speak of but these same people they're speaking about their problems Like everybody else knows that they got a problem with you, except for you. And it's like you got the same people who let time pass and time progress, and then they think that that heals all things. But it's like all deep down inside, they really got some animosity towards you. And one day it's gonna come out. It always does. One day it's gonna come out. Like all of y'all <laughs> to become a member on 